Now, if you're like most real estate agents, you wake up in the morning, you realize today I have to create some content and you sit there and you stare at a blank screen or a blank piece of paper, or you open up Canva to a blank canvas and you start thinking, what am I going to create? This is not the way that we want to approach content creation in real estate, especially if we want to be efficient in creating content consistently. What we have to do is we have to create a content calendar so that we can stay organized. We can keep all of our ideas in one place and we can ensure that content gets published in the right fashion. So if you don't have a content calendar down in the description below, you can download this content calendar that we're going to go over. It's all notion based. So fairly easy to use. However, if you're building your own, also watch for a few different tips on how you can structure yours so that you're getting the most benefit out of your content calendar. So let's jump over here and have a look. So first thing you'll notice when we get over into the content calendar, if you toggle this open, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how you can actually use this tool. So that's there for you. Now, first thing under cheat sheets. Now, if you're creating your own content calendar, you should have cheat sheets somewhere within the calendar. And these are just going to be great reminders for us on how to use given platforms. Now, if you are using ours within here, you're going to see when you click into these, there's an exhaustive list of a whole bunch of things that you need to keep track of when it comes to posting on TikTok, when it comes to posting on YouTube. And it's going to show you all the best practices, the best cadences. And then for TikTok and YouTube, it's going to give you a bunch of different hooks that you can use in order to capture people's attention. Now, if you're building your own, I would just suggest that whatever channels you're going to use, you have a quick cheat sheet for yourself just so you can reference it and know, hey, this is what I'm going to be doing and this is how I'm going to be posting on a given channel. So that's all there for you. Coming down here, we have the idealist or brain dump. And this is a brain dump in the sense that you do not want to limit anything. Any idea that comes to mind, drop it in here. You see a piece of content that you love, another agent posts it and you have maybe a different take on it, drop it in here. For me, whenever I'm walking or driving, I always get content ideas. And all I do is I just ask Siri to remind me. And then of course, Siri's gonna remind me in about an hour and I'm gonna drop it in here. Now, what you're going to notice is all you have to do is hit new up here. And then you can put in your piece of content. Let's say we go first time home buyers guide. And then the medium that we're going to choose is YouTube in this case. So there we go. And there's also type. So let's say that this is educational in this case. Now there's a number of different types here. You can just add your own if you'd like. So let's minimize this. And then you'll see that it pops up here. We can always change it if we'd like, or when we are ready to move it over into our calendar, start working on it, we can just check it off right here. It's just like this, it's gone. Now, if you ever want to get to back to your original list, it's just being filtered here by anything that's unchecked. So you can just change that if you'd like. Coming down here under discovery content posting schedule. This is just our best practices for how often we should be posting on a given platform. Pretty straightforward, but a good reminder for us. Down here now, this might be new. So when we're thinking about creating content, we're going to be putting a lot of time into creating that content. And so we don't just want it to live in one place. And so what our suggestion here is have a primary channel and a secondary channel. So let's say I'm creating content for YouTube, but then I'm going to repurpose that for TikToks or reels or shorts. And so my secondary channel is going to be short form video. My primary channel is going to be long form video. Now, that being said, that doesn't mean that it's not going to end up on Facebook or LinkedIn. It just means that it's always going to end up on your primary channel, what you're creating for, and then your secondary channel, what you are repurposing for. Now that doesn't mean again, that you can't post it elsewhere. It just means that it will definitely land on those two channels in particular. So within here, you can just select what your primary and secondary channel are. And then of course you may have tertiary channels and things like that as well. Next, we have the content creation day. Now, this is very important. If you struggle with content creation consistency with a lot of us do, then all you need to do is block off one day for content creation. Now, how does this work? Well, you can't do any other work on that day. So no prospecting, no normal daily tasks. You are only creating content. Now this is going to improve your consistency dramatically. It's going to make life so much easier for you because instead of sitting there and wondering, what am I going to create today? But then you have all these other things to go to do on your list. Instead, you're just going to create content that day. And the other beautiful thing about this is once that day's done, you don't have to worry about content for the remainder of the week. You just have to post it or schedule it and it's ready to go. So this green box is just purely there as a reminder to know this is the day that I'm going to be creating content. Now coming down here, we have the content calendar. 
So you'll notice that when we actually create something, which we're going to do shortly, we're then going to move it from up next to in progress, review and editing, ready for launch, and then posted and repurposing. So once it's actually posted, it's going to sit in posted and repurposing until I finish my repurposing. And at that point in time, I can move it over to published, or maybe I don't use it, in which case I can just drop it into not used. So let's have a look here. I'm just gonna hit the new up here. And let's say that we do our first time home buyer's guide. So first time, and let's make it more specific for our city. There we go. And the type. So let's say that we're creating this for specifically YouTube. So we'll get rid of these other channels. And our content type, again, you can add your own, but I'm going to go educational for this. And then we automatically have repurpose selected. So the reason of this is just to remind us that we need to be repurposing this content. And then we have repurpose too. So let's say we're going to repurpose this to short form. There we go. And then let's say, you know what, this is also going to work really well as a blog. So I'm going to add that too. So short form is my secondary channel, but my tertiary or the channel I'm also going to use in this case will be blog. And then we have a checkbox for when it's complete. And then we have a publish date for when we publish it. So let's say once we actually get through it, we're publishing it on that day. Okay, coming down here, we have our ideas. So another brain dump. This is a spot where, again, we do not want to filter ourselves. We just want to put in all the ideas that we possibly can. And then down here, we have our supporting sources. So if we end up creating a piece of content and then we get some sources from elsewhere, this is a great place for us to remind ourselves in order to actually reference that content. Or it's also a great reminder if we go back to this piece of content, we want to know where we actually got our information from. It's all going to live here for us. Now, coming down here, there's, of course, the different channel types. Let's say we're doing video, so down arrow here. And then we have our working title, we have our keywords, we have the hook that we may want to use, and then we have the content. Now, when it comes to your content and your scripting, potentially you have your own structure, but if you don't, here's a structure for you. It's not going to work for every video, but it will work for the majority of them just to help give your video a little bit of structure as you're progressing through it. You have your description here and then we have publishing. So we have a nice long list here of things to remind you in order to add these to ensure that you're publishing it properly and it's going to be seen by the most number of people. So that's all there for you too. And then of course, under blog, we have the same thing. TikToks and shorts, we have the same thing here. And then Instagram, we have the same thing. So depending on the piece of content, there's just going to be a little bit of a different bit of information that you're gonna be putting in each of these. Okay, so once we've started that, and now we're going to go back to our content hub here. And now we have our first time home buyer's guide and then it's in progress and then it's being reviewed and then it's ready for launch. And then it's being posted and repurposed and we're ready to go pretty well. And then finally, once we have finished repurposing, I'm going to select this little box here that says my repurposing is complete. So both my check marks are done there. And then I'm going to move it over to published. And there we go. It just keeps it very simple and organized. You'll notice this isn't complex and it's not complex because the more complexity we have, the less likely we are to use it. We want simplicity, but we want each of these categories to have a purpose. Now, the other thing that you can do, this is organized by status, but we can also just look at a table view. We can look at our launch calendar. So when did we actually launch this? And then we have our list of published content here too. So that is your content calendar. Now, reminder, you can download this if you'd like, or just take some of these ideas for your own content calendar. You want to have a cheat sheet. You want to have a content creation day. You want a primary and secondary channel. And then you want a very simple flow to have things flow through so that you can stay on track and know when you're publishing things. And the other thing that's very important is just this idea list, this brain dump of whatever comes to you, completely no filter. It's all in there for you. Now, let us know if there are any resources or any ways that you have created your content calendar or any different tools that you use. This is Notion-based, but potentially you have a different tool that you use. Let us know. Thank you very much for watching this video. You can reach out to us anytime at revrealestateschool.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next lesson.